why would you want to go to a rally? And most importantly, what is we think is the number one reason to go to a rally? And we think that number one reason trumps everything else that goes on at a rally. Stay tuned to find out. We're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. We sold our house in 2015 and moved into an RV full time to live a life of less junk, more journey. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. What's up, fellow journeyers? So we are at our first ever Grand Design National Rally, and this thing is huge. <laughs> this is their big one. This is their National Rally. It has 620 rigs are here, so like 1,000 plus people. A ton of stuff going on. Now this is quiet and peaceful today out here for the most part, but opening ceremonies, this place was packed. We wanted our names to resonate with our customers. So you want to get out of the city, right? And, and you want to you want to enjoy nature. You, you want to enjoy solitude. This is the opening ceremony. The owner, Don Clark, comes out and gives a, gives a presentation, and he does a Q&A portion. So you fill out um, a Q&A card, and they, they pick some of them, and he answers some of your questions. Okay, when you register at the Grand Design National Rally, this is the stuff you get. What's in the big bag? Have we even opened the big bag yet? What do you think's in here? Discounts on some stuff. Ooh, wow. Oh, well, that's cool. You like that? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The Grand Design blend. They know the way to our heart. Wow. Oh, it's a coffee cup. There you go. <laughs> when a brand gives you something, you got it. When you hold it, you're like, and a coffee cup. Ooh, Hensley. Notebook. A notebook. Cool. <laughs> I love notebooks. There's a big bag, two smaller bags. It's a piggy bank. <laughs> they know that I lose my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Grand Design Bear. What should they call him? Jesus. Grand. Grand. Oh. So they also give you tickets for different things going on. This is for a food truck on Wednesday. Can I get a whoop whoop? And when you register, if you have kids, you tell them you have kids. So I think these are like actually the kids bags and that's like the couple bag, I guess the big one. That's a baby alligator. What does a baby alligator do? Google, what's my baby alligator say? Oh, wow. He <laughs> <laughs> said Google, what's my baby alligator say? Google, Google, buy a black baby alligator. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> ever watch everyone laughing. Like, that's what they that's literally what they sound like. They say mer? They go mer. Mer. That's what they sound like when they are like calling their moms. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look at BB I did your this. I thought he fell off the ladder. I don't think that's four. That's a four point three. You had yeah, and you can see with that. Oh, I see just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I'd at least I like go with this, a five. I like the big one. Yeah. I like it. I just I just, I feel like an airplane pilot when I got all these screens well, in my truck. Well, wait. We're looking at getting a backup camera for the fifth wheel. Uh, uh, so Furion has an entire booth set up. Here. I'm here looking at the so 101, which is the five inch, I think is what I'm going to go with. So you guys are selling the Freedom Handles here? Yep. Yes? Yep. Awesome. Yep. So there's two vendor sections. The This building here, which is non-OEM. Okay. Then the other building is your OEM, like your Furion, your More okay. Ride, and stuff like that. Okay. So we are in, or you're in the non OEM, so okay. accessory type stuff. Um, some are Grand Design owners like us. We're full timers in a Grand Design, and some are not. They're just RV vendors that may travel in an RV, but whatnot. Yeah, Scott and Renee did a great job explaining the vendor stuff, so way better than I would have done. And if you want to follow them, they're up for the journey if you want to check them out as well. Today is Nathan's birthday. I am trying to throw him a surprise birthday party while we're at the rally. It's getting a little tricky, but I think I think I might pull it off. <laughs> so Corey and Jesse from Finding Our Sunday are picking up cake and ice cream. Happily Ever Hanks are bringing some birthday hats. We have some other friends coming over, so I hope that I can pull this off without him knowing so we can give him a good surprise for this birthday, whatever age that may be. I got my little helper here. You're in charge of decorations, right? Yes, don't. He's right there. Oh. Your birthday's tomorrow. Okay. 
You sure? I think it's today. Nuh uh. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> it's not a cough word at all. <laughs> So when you come to the rally, there's full hookup sites, which is water, sewer, and electric. And then there's some sites that don't have full hookups. Most all those are like water and electric, 30 amps. You get two free pump outs that come with it. And we're only here like four nights. So that's not bad. The nut, stalker. <laughs> I'll too. Where's my tag? I don't know. Oh, I almost grabbed Hensley. You're Hensley, close well, enough. Well, that's my maiden. I don't know, Marissa's losing everything. She usually can't find her phone either, so. Your phone's in your back pocket, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be a Hensley. Yeah, because... just go. You're Hensley. What are you painting? A sun catcher. A sun catcher? Wow, JJ, what are you painting? What is this? This is a turtle. Oh, it is. You wanna show Daddy your birdhouse you made? What? Look at that. They were all lined up, and I knew which one was hers. <laughs> wow. It's not Tiffany, but it's Yeah, oh, and you know the one that's bedazzled is, is Hensley's. So one thing that's new for this year with the Grand Design Rally, um, and now you can go to specific rallies, like Full-Time Family Rally. They're going to have tons of this. The whole rally is, at the Full-Time Family Rally is about family activities, kid activities. But... Typically, at least at the Grand Design Rally, and I'm sure a lot of other brand rallies, they don't have as many like family activities or things for the kids. Well, Grand Design this year has started to have what they call Camp GDRV. Two, three times a day, they have arts and crafts. Today, you guys did a service project, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, um, they pulled some weeds around the property. Hey, what's better than getting the kids to pull some weeds? JJ so pulled on. one <laughs> weed, sat down and said, I'm so tired. <laughs> You're so tired, buddy. He's tired now. He is he? tired. Um, Hi, Daddy Dad. Hi, Daddy Dad. I like that. Am I Daddy Dad? Now, one really cool thing you can do at this rally, and probably some of the other brand rallies, I'd say they might have this too, but you can tour RVs. So they'll have different models of RVs. Some of these could be prototypes. Some of these might be things that just came out, but really neat to go from one RV to the next. And what's cool is you're surrounded by people who own the same brand RV. You can ask how they feel about what they have or what they're looking into. It's pretty cool to walk around. So the rally has uh, golf carts that are larger that they call goobers because they're golf cart ubers <laughs> but they will take you pretty much anywhere you go and they are on it man if you even go for a walk they're like you need a ride you need a ride i still think it's like really really great to have bikes here to go back and forth because this is a large campground slash fairground but at the same time if you don't have your bikes know that there are a lot of these carts and they are around <laughs> a lot to give you a ride. Now you have numerous seminars at the rally. So that makes a rally a great place, especially if you're like starting your RV journey, because you can gain a ton of information and education from a rally to help with your start. Because we've talked about the first six months of RVing is tough. And this is a really, really good way to start that journey, whether you're full-time or part-time or anything like more education when it comes to RVing, like it is awesome to have. Now, a big part of any rally is just having a great time. And uh, the Grand Design Rally is no different. They have frequent tours that are going to different locations. Uh, you've got the Gilmore Car Museum Tour, of course, the Grand Design RV Plant Tour. You've got different themes for different nights. Uh, I know one night was like bingo night, one night was casino night, barbecue theme night, uh, finger food night. You know, you've got these large meals you'll do. The almost mass hysteria here right now. What is going on? What is causing these massive lines to be formed outside of this white building? It's dinner time. We really don't want to come between an RV and their dinner, especially barbecue. So they have meals here, uh, breakfast, breakfast every morning, dinner, I'm pretty sure every night, lunch, you're on your own most days for lunch. But then some nights it's like just your area doing their own meal and their own thing. Because if you got like a thousand people in an event, but you want that event to feel small, um, it's great to have these other ways to kind of break things down with campfires and opportunities for people to connect on a more personable level. Okay, so this is still not what I would consider the number one reason to go to a rally, but this is way up there. And I don't know 
I haven't researched this. I don't know how many brand rallies. Brand rally as in like you've got, you know, Numar, Tiffin, Winnebago, Airstream, Grand, you know, you got all these different brands have their own rallies. I don't know if the other brands are doing this as well, but Grand Design is very well known for this. So Grand Design, if you're coming to the national rally, before you come, you fill out a form and you tell them up to three things that you want fixed on your rig. And this is the it doesn't matter if your rig is under warranty or not. Now you can't just roll in here and say, I want a new roof, you know, or, or I want new axles, or, and you can get that stuff done while you're in the Elkhart area. I heard yesterday someone said they got the refrigerator replaced and another person said they got a brand new oven. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's they're not just doing cheap stuff, yeah. but they're not gonna do something where, I think they used to even pull the underbelly out and do work, that kind of work. I don't know if they do that anymore, but they do They do electrical work, they do roof work, they do awnings, they do, you know, they're doing all kinds of stuff with these rigs, up to three things, and the service vehicles all day long, man. There's, I don't know how many people they've got doing this work. There are service vehicles and people doing the work everywhere. Like, they prep for this for a long time. So if you guys remember, our floor scratched open by this thing. I still don't know what it is. We still don't know. But it, it, it uh, here's the damage. I'll put it on the screen. And so... This was on our way to the rally. This happened. <laughs> so we reached out to Grand Design and said, man, is there anything you guys can do? This is the thing. And this is why I was sick when we ripped our floor. You got a few options, but really your main options are either you patch this up or you replace the floor and you've got to take every, to do it right, you've got to take everything off the floor, not just in this room, but also in the bunker room. It's a big deal. And so they said, look, if we can patch that up, you want to patch it because once you start pulling stuff off the floor, the amount of damage you could possibly do, it's not ever going to go back the same once you pull everything off the floor. Here's the before of what the uh, floor looked like. Here's the grand reveal. All right, here's the after. At a glance, you do not notice. She even added like grain into this it's kind of textured a little bit yeah kind of she added there. just a little texture to it I'm pretty sure she like moved a magic wand and blah, blah, blah. Uh, then one of the really neat things that happens with all this service that takes place with the service techs at the grand design rally on the last day of the rally it's kind of reciprocated the grand design service techs and then sometimes their families along with them uh, get on golf carts for a parade <laughs> through the campground. They are cheered on by the Grand Design owners who are super appreciative of how hard these techs have worked during this entire rally. Okay, so these are all great reasons. These are awesome things that happen at a rally. Some of these are specific to the Grand Design Rally, but what do we feel like is the number one reason to go to a rally? Is it the same for you as it is for me? Absolutely. All right, on three. One, two, two three. three. The, the food. food. <laughs> we totally did not plan that. I thought you were going to say the real thing. No, we knew what this was supposed to be. It was supposed to. <laughs> All right, now we'll say the real thing and then we'll tell. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Community. community. But we that both is said not. Food. Okay, we both thought we'd be funny and say something else besides community, and we both said the food because the food has been good. That is, that is terrible. Weird. Um, <laughs> wow. It's, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Great, should, great should, minds. Yeah, should we be uh How you hey. doing? <laughs> Again, it's community. <laughs> Got a little surprise party for Nathan waiting at the RV. We're a little late. <laughs> yeah. The party started before us. recommend rallies whether you're a seasoned veteran or brand new it is a great way to have community with like-minded people uh, we're gonna link to a playlist of three of our favorite videos around community which 
we undervalued in the past, but we now know is a huge deal. It's the best it's part of travel. Deal it's the when best it comes part. To travel. It is. We've made some amazing friendships. Well, that's our journey for today. Until next time. We'll catch you guys later. You get a little more oomph. Can you oomph it? Uh, no, that's good. good later. <laughs> that's good. Catch you guys later. <laughs>